welcome to Philippine Politics and Governance. I am Armand Rose and I will be your guide as you learn the concepts of this course. This is Lesson 3, Power. Power in the natural sciences is the capacity to do work, that is, the ability to move an object to a particular direction using force. It is measurable and quantifiable. In the social sciences, it is a similar meaning, although it cannot be precisely measured. Power is the ability to influence or control the behavior of people, to perform a desired action or refrain from an undesirable action. The Nature of Power Most simply, power is the ability to get what you want. Everyone can wield power. There are three ways by which to do it. Coercion, authority, and influence. Influence is when people are persuaded to do your will. They voluntarily do what you want them to do and think it is their idea. Coercion is when people are forced through fear or threats of a consequence for disobedience. Authority is when people obey because they respect the source of the command. Natural authority is automatically given. This is for parents, older siblings, or other relatives. Public authority is created through socialization that we must obey those who have been given power to act on our behalf, such as government officials, teachers, lawyers, doctors, and other professionals. Each of the relationships that exist under each of these forms of power is different. People can combine any of the three together to get the result they want. Dimensions of Power There are three dimensions of power. Power over is the ability to dominate another person or group. This relationship requires a dominant and subordinate party. Power two is the ability to do things on your own. It refers to one's abilities, knowledge, and resources to accomplish what others cannot. Power with is the ability to get something done through consensus and cooperation. It involves people working together to solve a common problem. The Types of Power Coercive power involves the use of threat to force people to do what you want. It is effective only when there is fear. If the threat is removed or the fear is gone, there will no longer be obedience. Reward power uses perks and benefits to influence people. This is more effective, although continued obedience is not guaranteed when the reward is no longer available or desired. Legitimate power emanates from an official position held by someone and exists only as long as that person is in position. Government officials exercise this power when they are in office and bequeath it to their successors. Expert power is based on the skills and experience possessed by an individual. It commands more credibility and respect over time. This power grows based on a person's educational level and accomplishments. Reference power is wielded by people who have a huge following who like them and identify with them. They hold influence over a large number of people for a large number of decisions. Celebrities enjoy this power and are prized by companies to endorse their products or by, by government officials to campaign for them during elections. There are three consequences on the exercise of power. Resistance, compliance, and commitment. Resistance. In general, people don't like to be controlled and nobody wants to be threatened. People who are coerced obey but only begrudgingly. When the threat is removed, they may refuse to act, sabotage, or even seek retribution. Compliance Positive reinforcement and respect for authority are more effective for influencing people in the short term, but obedience may also discontinue when the rewards and the position are no longer present. Commitment Loyalty is based on respect for the person's characteristics or skills. People who have achieved this leaves a legacy even long after they are gone. 
Corruption is the consequence of the excessive use of power. Corruption is the abuse of entrusted power for private gain. Corruption can take many forms and can include behaviors like demanding or taking money or favors in exchange for services, misusing money, granting jobs or contracts to friends and family, and bribery to escape punishment. It can happen anywhere and involve anyone. In studying politics, we must be aware and accept the fact that power is a central concept, is dynamic and has different forms depending on who is imposing power and how that power is expressed. The following are the reference materials used in the creation of this presentation and the ideas discussed in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.